over the course of the last few weeks we have discussed about various points leading up to holistic happiness happiness as we know of has been attached to material things which has made it into a fleeting emotion an illusion really that we are chasing the faster we run towards it the further back it moves away from us and we are running behind this in a continuous loop causing a constant unbroken cycle of happiness and sadness coming one after the other because we cannot break this cycle we have made our whole life full of stress anxiety pain and suffering and we don't need anybody else to make us sad we are fully capable of doing it ourselves because we are living in this mirage life all the choices that we make are ex- influenced by external factors every moment of our life is been dictated by something or somebody else and we are stuck in this bad place all the time we want to be in control but in our hearts we know that we are not we are been controlled by the world around us every action of ours every thought of ours every choice that we make is influenced by external factors and we are always acting something or reacting to something rather than making a conscious decision based on choices that have that are driven by knowledge and awareness and this situation hasn't changed for the last many centuries many generations so even though we feel that we are living a life that is different from everybody else if you really look at it from a third party perspective you realize that we are not doing anything different from anybody else we are all basically hurtling down the same path making the same bad choices based on the same bad information leading to the same chaotic conclusions and on and on this is going on for generations after generations what we are who we are is not defined by us but is defined by everybody else around us on the contrary everybody else defines us and we never get the chance to do it ourselves so what we know of as us as me are factors and traits put together by the world around us into me it is a information download that i received from generations past based on their memories and their experiences that is driving my psyche today so technically i am leading a life that is centuries old and though i am calling it my own life li- living a modern life i am basically making the same mistakes same choices based on the same instincts that people hundreds of years ago were doing and we are not going to end up making any difference in our lives because we are just carrying forward a template that we borrowed from somebody else but we expect our lives to be different we want our lives to be different we want to be in control we want to make conscious decisions we want to live a life different from what somebody else is but we just can't because in our heads we are stuck in that programming that we have inherited it's as if it's an it's a message that is playing out and we are just living out a scripted life we all of us want to change who wouldn't want to change everybody asks me that you have discussed at great detail all the problems that have caused this how do i change do you really want to change ask yourself this question if you really want to change you would have already tried changing something you know what is stopping you from changing what is stopping you from making different choices what is stopping you from creating a new life it is fear that is stopping you you are afraid to make 
a life that is different from somebody else. You want to carry on a tried and tested template of life, considering that one day maybe you will get what you want. But it's not going to get you what you want. It's going to cause more pain and more suffering, create more stress and unlimited supply of anxiety to you. If you want to have a different life, you will have to change your perspective. You will have to reprogram yourself. You have to unlearn centuries of learning that you have inherited. You have to redo all your learnings, all your experiences, all, all your decisions. If you ever want to have a different life than what you have currently. But you are afraid to do it because you are afraid. You fear what somebody else would say. You are afraid of ridicule. You are afraid of rejection. And most importantly, you are afraid of failure. You are afraid that if you make a different choice, you would fail. You are afraid that people would ridicule you on the choices that you are making. That they would reject you and make you an outcast considering that you have chosen a new path in life. But trust me, that is the only way out. If you are ready to rise above this fear, if you are ready to make a conscious decision to have a different conclusion to this life, you will have to act on it. It's not going to happen by itself. There is nobody coming out from the clouds to do it for you. You are going to have to do it yourself. And the universe has already made you ready to do this. Look at everything you have in your life already. Consider your life from somebody else's viewpoint. From your birth right up to the moment that you are listening to this. Look back at life and look at all the gifts that you got. You got a family, you got education, maybe you have a good job. Maybe you got a positive attitude, maybe you are kind, maybe you are generous, maybe you are a great friend, you know, you, I'm, you, you gauge your life from somebody else's viewpoint and you would see that you are full of gifts. You have so many gifts that the universe has given you that you don't know of. All of this has been given to you, not so that you can keep on making the same mundane life choices leading to the same mundane life. All of these gifts have been given to you so that you can script a new life for yourself. The universe is asking you, it is making you make that decision to one day rise above the conditioning and choose to awaken to a, to, to, to a new realization. It is the era of awakening. It is the era of rising above mundaneness. You are supposed to awaken to a new reality, to a new paradigm that is going to propel you towards greatness. And you already have all the gifts that you need to make your life good, to make your life healthy and happy and fulfilled. You stop comparing with somebody else. Don't look at what somebody else has. Look at what you have. Look at the gifts that you have been given. And then, and I'm sure you will realize that you have a lot of opportunity in your life already asking you to make this upgrade in life now. Not every revolution has to be of the physical kind. Some evolutions are of the emotional or the on a thought level emotion. The biggest evolution, like Param Guru said, is when we evolve in our thoughts. That is the new phase of evolution. When we all awaken and upgrade in our thoughts and upgrade in an emotional plane to a new reality, this is the new future. This is the future that the universe wants for each and every one of us. If you ask, which is a common question, Can I really do this? And Param Guru says, of course you can. Because you're meant to. Because you're bound to do it. 
The universe wants you to do it. The universe wants you to awaken from this deep slumber that you have been in. The universe wants you to realize your true potential. The universe wants you to understand your true self. It is a destiny that you already have. It is a destination that it wants you to reach. So don't worry about the ifs and buts. Make that choice and run with it. That is very important. If you decide to make a change in your life, start this minute. This is the moment. You will have to leave behind every impulse and every instinct that you have. If something makes you angry, drop that. If something makes you hate, let it go. If something makes you sad, leave it behind. Every decision, every impulse, every reaction that you have been having is based on this ancient age old conditioning of yours. If you want to be in the new era of love and happiness and healing, you will have to let this go. And that journey begins now. The moment you want to begin it. There is no good day to make this journey start. To begin this journey, the only good day to start to make a change is this current moment. The moment you start to realize, the moment you want to wake up, you begin this journey. So over the next some time, we are going to discuss how exactly we go ahead in this journey. This is the dawn of a new era, an era that is going to be filled with love and compassion and help and, and gratitude and healing and health for everyone, each and every one of us. And the universe is guaranteeing this. It's as if it's making us all realize this together. We just have to let go of everything that is holding us back and embrace this new reality. That we are not mundane creatures anymore. We are here to realize our potential, to awaken to our own inner beauty, to our to feel this inner peace that we never did, to realize the true beauty of the self and feel the depths of true love. This is our destiny. This is what we are here to do. This is what we are meant to do. So if any of you have ever felt stifled or curtailed or bogged down in your life, it is because that life is not for you anymore. Leave all of that behind and make this moment your moment of glory. When you chose to reprogram yourself, when you chose to make a conscious effort to change your life, when you chose to create a new destiny for yourself and that my friend, it's something to really remember. To mark this day in your calendar, in your life, and look back at it fondly down the years, that that was the day when I decided that I'm not going to be limited to this in-the-box life. I want to break this box open. I want to break out, break the chains, so to say, of everything that is holding me back and venture fearlessly into a bright, glorious future. If you really want to do this, let's, journey, let's do this journey together. Let's you and I and all of us over the next, the course of the next some time, slowly let go of this burden that's holding us behind and awaken and arise.